Hello, I'm Archie Luxury. Welcome to the program, fuckers. And today I'd like to continue my my series on Brisbane suburbs. And today we're driving through the Brisbane suburb of Fig Tree Pocket, Kenmore. So these are two suburbs, Fig Tree Pocket and Kenmore. Now both these suburbs here are what you would call upper middle class. And uh, myself, Archie, coming from a very lower middle class suburb, it's always been very aspirational to come to these suburbs here. This is a very, very upper middle class suburb. The, uh, the houses here are fucking expensive. You're looking at uh, high, high sixes, uh, you know, up to over, over a million. It's uh, it, it's it's an interesting suburb. It's very low, very lower upper class, but very upper middle. And uh, this suburb here, Kenmore Fig Tree Pocket, it was developed in the late 60s. Uh, Kenmore had huge growth in the early 70s, and. Um, it's, it's just how the urban sprawl happens. So uh, the land here was very cheap in the 50s, but uh, it's a very desirable real estate, very desirable suburb, and uh, it's fucking expensive. You've got to keep the hoi polloi out somehow, and pricing is a great way of keeping those fuckers out. And uh, it's a great suburb. You could just driving through here, we see a lot more newer cars. And we also see a sprinkling of German and Japanese luxury cars. And uh, what a wonderful feeling to be cosseted in a fully imported vehicle. Kenmore is very, very much... Uh, you know, it's 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 a very good suburb. This is a good. This is a good fire. This is a good suburb, and uh, it's expensive. You have a lot of professionals, doctors, CEOs. Uh, you know, it's a very ritzy sort of suburb, and uh, it's got a lot of the the middle class morality. This is a suburb which is tarred with the brush of middle class morality. And it's a lot of financial pressure. A lot of the fuckers who live here are heavily, even though they may be earning good money and they're part of the professional classes, they often have big fucking mortgages, expensive motors with big lease payments, and private school fees to pay. So Mr. CEO Professional on 200,000 a year unfortunately after he's taxed as shit after he pays his mortgage on his executive home after he services his novated lease on his European piece of fluff he then needs to pay the school fees and there may not be terribly much left over so it's 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 one of these things here. It's got a lot of uh, pressure. This suburb here is uh, it's expensive. It's expensive, and um, hopefully these fuckers here would have some sort of inheritance coming their way because fuck, it's very expensive, and uh, it's it's a nice solid nice solid area here. This is nice upper middle class. There's very little unemployed folk, uh, very little undesirable element. It, this is a nice suburb, fighters. And um, it's a beautiful suburb, very aspirational. And uh, Archie would love to live here, but it may not be a reality. Well, we'll have to see how the channel goes there. Th things haven't been going Archie's way lately. But uh, Kenmore and Fig Tree Pocket, the nice upper, upper middle class section of society. You've arrived. This, this is the British equivalent of having an Aga. Okay, fuckers, this is the British equivalent of having an Aga. You've arrived. You are somebody. And, uh, you know, you, a lot of people here would have cleaning ladies. A lot of people here, European cars, 
you know, they, they, they live a certain life and uh, that's all very important. I'm Archie Luxury, reporting from the suburbs of Brisbane. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. I love those upper middle suburbs.